So, hello. Today we are going to uh, sep physically separate a, he a heterogeneous mixture. So, we have here an unknown mixture of sand, salt, and salicylic acid. And we're going to want to separate the three of those so that we know how much of each of that is in here. So first things first, we're going to want to freeway two beakers and a watch glass with filter paper on it. So first, we want to make sure our balance is reset and paired. Then we'll take the mask of the first beaker. And for that one, we get 51.163 grams. I'm gonna set that aside. And then we're gonna check the mass of beaker two. For beaker two, we get 49.389 grams. And we can weigh the watch glass and the filter paper together because when we'll be taking the weight of the sand on, on the watch glass and filter paper later, we will be weighing them together basically. So. And for the watch glass and filter paper, we get 47 point zero three four grams use the bigger stir the bigger weight boat so we go ahead and set our weight boat in here to settle, tear it. And then we're gonna measure out five grams of mixture. And it appears we have 5.005 grams of, of mixture here. So. You want to get this one as close to the actual measurement as possible. Uh, as close to five grams as possible.
few pieces of the of the filter flask we need to set up here. So we have the flask itself, a funnel. Uh, we have our filter paper and a little rubber stopper to put at the lip of the funnel. And we have our vacuum source here. So first we, we set the stopper in the funnel and we set those up like that. And we have a second funnel, a second flask for later. So then we're going to want to use our, our hose to connect the vacuum to the funnel. Then we'll turn on our vacuum just a little bit. And we're going to set down our filter paper. Then we'll pour our mixture into the funnel. And now we're going to want to these we're going to want to dissolve the salicylic acid using some hot ethanol. So we're going to go over to the fume hut where we have the ethanol heating up. And we're going to want to use a pipette and a graduated cylinder to measure out about 20 milliliters of warm ethanol here. So we're going to slowly pour it into our little filter flask here. So basically, the ethanol dissolves the uh, salicylic acid and it passes through the filter paper. So now down here, we have ethanol and salicylic acid and up here we should have sand and salt. All right, so once that's had a chance to filter out and into our little flask here, we're actually going to take turn this first. We're actually going to take our little our filter and our funnel and we're going to swap out for a new flask. We're going to turn the vacuum. We're going to turn the vacuum back on. And we're going to pour our ethanol and our salicylic acid into, into beaker one. Thank 
get over here. And we're actually going to want to dissolve, we're going to want to evaporate away all the ethanol in here, leaving only the salicylic acid. We're going to measure out about 20 milliliters of warm water. water over the sand and salt mixture. And this is going to dissolve, this is going to dissolve the salt, but leave the sand behind. Okay, so now we're going to turn our vacuum on. going to take our filter paper and our mixture we're going to We're going to want to put all of this onto the uh, onto the onto the plate here. So yeah, we're going to want to put it all on the on the watch glass here. And then we're going to want to take our watch glass. And we're going to set it in our oven here so that it has, so that it can, so that it can dry off basically. We're gonna, we're gonna want to 
gonna take our salt water. Pour it into beaker two. evaporate the water in a way so that all that's left is the salt. So we'll set this here. We'll turn the heat up and and I'll check back in with you guys once all once all this is done and ready. Okay so we're back uh, the the salt, the salt water is in the process of evaporating, leaving only the salt behind. And our salicylic acid, our ethanol has been fully evaporated, leaving our salicylic acid behind. So, important thing to note is that hot glassware looks exactly like cold glassware. So be careful when handling it and always set it down so that it has a chance to cool before before, before you uh, weigh any hot glassware. So here we go and we take this back to our, our balance. We've made sure it's teared. And we're just gonna just gonna set it on the balance. And this is beaker one. So we're going to go ahead and record the mass, which I got here as fifty-one point three 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 grams. And basically, you're just going to want to subtract the mass of the beaker with the salicylic acid from the mass of the beaker without the salicylic acid, and that'll give you the mass of the salicylic acid. So, now, while we're waiting for the while we're waiting for the water to continue evaporating, we can go ahead and clean this out. So first we're going to like want to scrape out any of this crystallage that's, that's formed. Kind of just going to want to scrape that out into the hazard, solid hazardous waste bin. Then we'll rinse out. We'll use DI water to rinse out anything we can't scrape and pour it into the into the liquid waste bin. And 
will dispose of the paper towel in the hazardous solid waste bin. And I'll go ahead and finish cleaning this off camera. The water has evaporated and had a chance to cool, so now we're going to take the, uh, the watch glass out of the oven and let it have an opportunity to cool. Just set it on this other glove. have beaker two with the salt. As you can see. And we're gonna take it over here. Take the mass of beaker two with the salt which is 51.765 grams. And then you'll subtract the mass of beaker two without the salt in it to get the mass of the salt. And then we'll go over here Be still, still be cooling, so we'll we'll give it a couple more minutes. Um, but if you want to get it, it's been in the oven for a while, so it should be fine. But if you if you want to get the most accurate measurement, if you want to get the most accurate measurement possible, you're going to want to you're going to basically want to weigh it, give it time to cool. Then, then, well, you'll give it time to cool, you'll weigh it, then you'll put it back in the oven for a, for a while, then take it back out, give it time to cool, weigh it, and basically keep doing that until, until the mass stops decreasing between times you weigh it. Because water mass can really can add extra mass, which, which, which can throw your measurements off. Glass. So yeah, and we'd subtract the mass of the watch glass filter paper and sand. We'd subtract the mass of the watch glass and filter paper from that to get the mass of the sand. Then we'd then we basically total these three up together to get the mass recovered. And we'd basically, we'd divide our mass recovered by our initial mass, so 5.005 .005 grams to get our total percent multiplied by 100% to get our total percent recovery. And then for, for all of these, you'll basically take the mass of each of these. So for example, let's do salt. So 
salt percent composition would be mass of salt divided by mass recovered times 100 percent and that should be all you need for this experiment oh and you'll and you'll compare you'll compare the compositions you get from this experiment to the actual compositions that that the 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 lab has to get your your percent error for your sand salt and salicylic acid. don't hesitate to ask questions if you have any questions and we'll see you next time <laughs>